Hello and welcome to NOVA Securely Submitting Your Census Data. This is going to be presented today by Lisa Dealman. If you have any questions, please reach out to your NOVA account manager and they will be able to further assist you. This presentation is going over the census data submission, but if you have questions or would like to view the entire data collection process, we have another video for that available on our YouTube channel. Lisa, we're ready to go. Thank you, Andrea. As Andrea said, this video recording is um, a shortened version of our long version on how to securely submit your census data. Um, this is for NOVA's year-end data collection project that we need in order to um, complete the annual required compliance testing, um, Form 5500, Form 8955 SSA, um, if the plan requires evaluation report and required minimum distributions, all kinds of stuff. So really important stuff. Um, let's move forward. There we go. Our usual disclaimer, the information in this presentation is general in nature and not intended to be used for, to be substituted for legal or tax advice. If you should need legal or tax advice, please contact a professional attorney or accountant. So here is where you will provide NOVA with the census data information. Our plansponsorlink.com is our secure web portal that we prefer to use for as much information as we can to be transmitted between ourselves and yourselves. If you've never logged in before, then you can click on first time user. A temporary password will be sent to your inbox within your email. Don't forget to check your, your clutter or your junk boxes and it'll give you a temporary password for you to then use to set up your own new password for your user ID. Your username is always the email address that NOVA has on file for you. So if you have multiple email addresses, make sure that you are using the one that NOVA has on file for you. Um, and if you've forgotten a password, please go ahead and click on forgot password and it'll send you a temporary email to your email box as well. No one at NOVA, has your password. That is only something that you know. Once you have logged in, if at any time, for instance, um, Nova's policy is to update our passwords every 90 days on a lot of our uh, uh, programs that do not have two-factor authentication. And so if you're one of those people that likes to con you know, change your passwords frequent frequently for security purposes, you can always do that within um, the login website. Um, just click on the drop down arrow next to your name and click on uh, change password. Here's our editing guide that you will see throughout. Um, and uh, it's pretty self explanatory nowadays. It used to be a lot more difficult. Um, but after each task is reviewed by yourself, or completed, then you must click save or else that task is not going to fully show a green check mark that you've completed that task. So here is what it looks like. You'll see this year in data collection project and it'll be for the year that we are requesting. You'll know which year you're requesting based on the email we send to you. And you should only have one in your My Active Task tab at any time. Prior ones can be downloaded and viewed within your data collection tab. Any prior years that you completed with NOVA can be viewed in there. But to do the one that we are requesting now will always be under My Active Tasks until you have fully completed it. When you've located this project, simply click on Begin Task. This is what it looks like when you've completed it all. Okay, every single task has a green check mark and your approval has a thumbs up. That means that you have every ten, all 10 steps have been completed and you clicked save after each task. Within each task, there is a notes tab up here. Please provide any pertinent information that you think your NOVA account manager would need for any of these steps um, and just leave a note. Um, if, if there's something that we need to know that you can't just um, 
put in the already existing um, cells of each step, go ahead and leave us a note. Step nine, the employee census. That's what this webinar is all about today. So what you wanna do is you'll see here there are no names or anything listed. That means it's the first year that this project is with NOVA 401k Associates. If you have been with NOVA for prior in a prior year, you will see the employees listed who were in the prior year's census data, okay? But you can export the um, all of this information into an Excel file template that we have available with the information that we are requesting. So to do that, you would simply click on this export uh, field here and you can download an Excel file and save it to your computer. And then when you're done, you would simply log back into your plan sponsor link web portal, go back to your um, year and data collection project, go back to step nine and click import and then it'll import back in that Excel file that you've exported out. Okay. Now, there are a couple ways that you can also provide census data to NOVA. One of them is a manual entry. Let's go back one screen. You can see here there's an add and a delete. If you want to do a manual entry, you would simply click add here, and then you're going to see this pop up of the employee information. And you just need to update all of the required fields and then any of the other fields that pertain to your plan. Don't forget to scroll down using the scroll down bar because there's a lot of other fields um, that may be pertinent to your plan. For instance, down here, if you were to scroll down, you would see officer. And if that person is an officer within the company, you would want to mark that as such. So go through and fill out everything that's pertinent to your um, company and your plan, your retirement plan, and then save for that person. Because this way can be a lot more daunting and a lot more time consuming, we really suggest that you only do a manual entry if you have two or, I mean, five or fewer uh, employees within your company. As I've said, to export and import the census template file in Excel version, you click on the export tab. And there's two different Excel versions that you can choose from, and it just depends on which Windows version you're using, okay? And then you definitely want to save it to your directory, and then you can start entering information. Once you've saved it to your computer, you can open that file, and you will see two worksheets, one with employees, one with instructions. Do not delete either worksheet tab. Do not rearrange either worksheet tab, and do not rename either worksheet tab. If you do any of those things, you will not be able to import it back into the plan sponsor link system. Uh, let's go back. So what we need from you is to list every single employee from the year that we're requesting who received any W-2 wages, any partners who received K-1 income, or any sole proprietor owners who received Schedule C income, okay? Um, oh, I forgot to update this year, but it should be requested in the, you know, in the year requested. Um, and um, you do not um, put down anyone who was a contract employee who was paid with 1099. We do not want them. We do need any employees who terminated during that year. So even if they have terminated during the year we are requesting, if they receive W-2 wages, then we need their information. Even if they are not yet eligible to participate in the plan, we still need their information. If there are owners who receive K-1 or Schedule C income, we do need copies of those draft forms as soon as they are available. If you have an active employee in the year that we requested who had no compensation because of they were on medical leave or um, active military duty or they're on an ASME basis, they just stay within your system, um, please include them on the census, but go back and leave a note saying, you know, such and such employee is still active 
but had no compensation the year because they were on medical leave or whatever the reason was. That way your account manager at NOVA does not have to call you and ask why there's no compensation listed for that employee, but no termination date. Um, there are, when you download that Excel file, if you scroll all the way to the right, there are now columns to provide us the addresses of your employees and their emails and phone numbers. Why would we want that? It is only simply to um, have another piece of information to verify if we get a distribution or a loan request from any of your employees. If we see something on their request form that does not match what we already have in our system from what you provided, that will leave us a red flag and we will contact you um, to see if maybe that participant or employee's address changed since we were provided that information because we want to prevent fraud. We want to make sure that we are not processing distribution or loan requests from fraudulent people. It is not a requirement to provide that address information or phone number or email. It's just another security item. If you do have rehired employees, there are three columns that you must complete for us. You must complete the original, original date of hire, their most recent date of termination, and their most recent date of rehire. Okay? That is what we need. We do not need the date of hire to be the rehire date. We need their date of hire to be their prior, original hire date prior to their termination date, and then their new rehire date. As I've already said, we do need Schedule C and Partnership K-1 um, for any plans where the partners or the owners receive income in that manner and are participating in the plan. We will continue to send requests throughout the year until we do receive that data. We do ask that when you have that data to send to us, that you send it through the Secure File Exchange portal through your Plan Sponsor Link web account. And I'll show you that in the next screen. Once you have completed filling out your Census Excel template file that you got from your Plan Sponsor Link web portal, you want to, um, again, save all the information that you completed on that Excel file. Um, within your computer system, log back into the Plan Sponsor Link website, go back into the Year and Census Data Collection Project under the My Active Task tab, click on uh, step, go to Step 9, your employee census step, then click on Import to upload that completed census file. Browse to your saved file from your computer, and it'll tell you if it was imported successfully. Now, there are two things that can happen. One is it can say there is an error and it will not let you import it. The second one is it will tell you there are warnings. If there are warnings, it still imports. It's just saying, hey, this might information looks a little fishy, a little suspicious, but as long as you think that it is correct, um, then it will be fine. It will still save. It is still imported successfully. Okay. Um, now, if there are errors, that means that something went wrong where the worksheet names were changed, the format was changed, um, or something like that. So if, um, if that happens, if you get errors and you will not let you import, there is another way you can send us that completed census file. What you can do is you can say, skip this step. What that's going to do is um, allow you to save the employee census step without actually providing the employee census information within that Excel file. Um, because then that same Excel file that you have on your computer, you're going to send it to us through the Secure File Exchange tab. So what does that mean? You were in the My Active Task tab, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to go to this Secure File Exchange tab over here. You're going to click on New Exchange, and this screen is going to come up. You're going to find your file of that census template that you completed. For the two, you're going to put it, send it to your NOVA account manager. How do you know who your NOVA account manager is? It is listed as the person who sent you the email 
requesting the census data, okay? For the message, you can simply put something as easy as, you know, um, 2021, 2022, whichever plan year is being requested, and you can just put that plan year and then census file. And then you wanna select the plan that you were sending that file from, and then click send. And what's gonna happen is Plan Sponsor Link is gonna send an email directly to your account manager and say, hey, such and such has sent you a file. And then your account manager can go and log into their own plan sponsor link, Secure File Exchange, to download that file. That's how you can send us that same information if the import's not working, but you can still send it securely to us. We just won't, don't want you to have to continue to um, send um, to send, uh, continue to try to import that Excel file if, if they're getting errors. Now, another thing, another way to send us employee census information. A lot of payroll companies already have a year-end payroll census um, annual data file in Excel format that they generate, that you can go in and generate within their system. If you already have that where it is in Excel format, and it has all of the year-end information that we would require for the census data, you can simply download that Excel file from your payroll provider and send it to your account manager in the same manner, going on the Secure File Exchange new exchange. You do not have to put it into our census template version. We only require that it is in Excel format and that it has the information that we need. Once everything looks good and all of the other nine steps are completed, the employee census step is the last one, then you click sign and submit, enter in your information and click on submit. Then you have successfully completed the entire process of sending NOVA your year in data collection. When it is done, you will no longer see it in the My Active Task tab. You will then go to the data collection tab and you will see every year that you've completed with NOVA. Then you can find which year you want and save it to your files um, within your retirement plan files on your computer. Just click on report and it'll download all of the stat tasks into one Excel file that is locked so you cannot um, change any of the entries, and, but you can see everything that had been entered, okay? So you can do that when you're completing the current year. You can go back and look at prior year if you need help with that. Um, or once you've completed the current year, you can download a version for yourself for your records. If you need help completing the census, um, our sister company, AFS 316, does understand that some employers would like and prefer assistance with gathering the census data and sending it to NOVA. Um, these are the requirements. You must have an online payroll provider. AFS requires read-only access. They will not edit anything. They will not change any entries. It's read-only. Um, they will upload the census to Plan Sponsor Link for NOVA. And it is a fee of $300. And you can contact Jake Holzniak at jacobh at afs316.com if you would like more information on their services. Some frequently asked questions. Um, you know, why do I have to submit a census if I'm a safe harbor plan? Well, you still are subject to deferral limits, and we still need that information in order to um, complete the annual governmental filing form 5500 and 8955 SSA, if required. Um, and if you do want any employer contributions, we need that census, because we also still need to verify if those safe harbor contributions um, more within the limits or not. If you have two divisions um, of census information, how would you get that imported in this plan sponsor link? Well, you cannot import two different files. It will override. Um, so if you're in that employee census step and you're trying to import, you cannot import two different files. You either combine all the information into one file and import it, or you can just send those two different Excel files through that secure file exchange um, tab. 
Um, and then if you're trying to import the census data file and it just won't go and you keep getting errors, um, this is some issues that happen. But honestly, don't try to waste a lot of time figuring out what the errors are. Just send it through the Secure File Exchange tab to your account manager and they'll figure out what the issue is. If they need any information, additional information, they will contact you directly. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you do have any questions about anything, please contact your NOVA account manager or you can simply email at census at nova401k.com and that'll go to a couple of people who will either respond to your question or forward your question to your NOVA account manager for them to assist you. As always, NOVA offers um, webinars throughout the year on all kinds of topics for the retirement plans that are free. And so if you have any interest in looking at what um, other topics there are throughout the year, you can go to www.nova401k.com forward slash webinars, and you can register for any of the upcoming webinars. Thank you so much and have a great day.